Hello everyone. So I'm going to compare two bags for you today. One of them is the Chanel Clutch with Chain, this one right here. It's in caviar with silver hardware. The other one is the Chanel East Flap right here. It's also in caviar but with gold hardware. And I just pulled them straight out of my closet and this is how I store this one. I put a little piece of um, cloth underneath the chain so the chain never directly hits the bag. Both of these bags are a great alternative to the double flap. You know, if you love handbags, there's this expectation that you're going to aspire to the Chanel double flap. Um, but that bag, not only does it have an extraordinarily high price point, but it because of the double flap, it doesn't really work for everybody. These are both single flap bags, so you don't you get easy access to your contents and your, you know, easy opening with the double flap. It protects the shape of the bag much better, but you know you can still see that there's there's no sagging or weird shape misshapenness with either of these bags. So um, I don't know the the medium flap and the small flaps they don't necessarily work for everyone. A double flap isn't for everyone, and even though that's what you're supposed to want, um, I have found by buying them and then having to resell them that they just didn't work for me, and that alternative styles um, had more to offer. The clutch with chain is still in production. You can still get this bag occasionally in certain seasons and they put it out in different colors and different leathers, patent um, and different variations and lambskin. The East West has been completely discontinued. So you have to buy this pre-loved if you're interested, but there are so many of them on the market in different variations. So this one you can easily pick up pre-loved. Um, this one you can also get pre-loved. Uh, that's what I did. Mine was pre-loved. The price point for this one was about, I believe it was about $1,300. That's what I, I recall paying for it. This one was significantly higher. It was closer to $2,000. Um, however, the retail price for this one is $3,100, 30, $31 to $33. Um, and I, I don't know the retail price because it's been completely discontinued, but um, it must have been close to about 22, 24 in that range. So let me just do some measurements. Like I said, they're both single flaps and both great for evening bags or day bags, actually, if you don't carry too much. And this one is equivalent. The East West is equivalent to, I would say, a mini. It will hold as much and slightly more than a mini. And this one holds equivalent to um, a medium large. Uh, definitely a small classic flap and medium large it will hold almost the um, the same amount it's they're both really really spacious given the um, the size of them so which one should I do first how about I do the larger one first so we'll put the smaller one off to the side I'll just take some very random items and see um, for sizing purposes what fits in what bag just to give you an idea excuse my nails they're chipping and not painted I don't um, I believe in natural nails and just doing them myself and so I save money on nails to put it toward my bags that's how it goes <laughs> so this one's 11 and a half in length the height this is the clutch with chain again is an eight a little over an eight and the width it's about one and three quarter however it will expand and it does have a back pocket, a full back pocket. This pack, the pocket goes completely all the way down. And it has the turn lock on the front, just like your classic flap. I keep dust bags inside to protect it. And it has a non-detachable chain, non-detachable and non-adjustable, of course. Um, and it is a shoulder carry bag. So it only goes on your shoulder. And the length of this chain drop is sufficient for almost well for every woman it'll be sufficient it's a nine and a half so almost everybody's going to be able to get that on their shoulder um, and then if you want to use it as a clutch you just tuck the chain inside and you have it as a clutch and it has one slip pocket in the back i know it looks narrow but it holds quite a lot so don't let the narrow structure fool you this one is the east west let's do its measurements it's of course smaller. You can tell that just by looking at them. This one is a 10. Its height is a five and a half. And it's width and it is not expandable. It doesn't have the give that the clutch with chain does. This one you don't, um, you really can't overstuff. 
it's about two and a quarter. Um, and it has twist lock again in the front and a chain. And I keep just a little bit of cloth in there. So on the inside, it has two back pockets, similar to the classic flap, and then the little lipstick pocket in the center. It has the chain going through that can be shoulder carried. And the drop on that one is longer than the clutch with chain. It's an 11 and a quarter about. Um, but the fancy thing with the East West is that the chain is adjustable. It has on the side here, I can bring it close, a little mechanism that unlocks by pushing it up and the chain can come completely off and be pulled through. So that it doesn't you can carry it as a clutch with no chain at all you can also shorten the chain hopefully you can see all this like it's hard for me to multitask with the camera i'm not an expert um, if you wanted to carry it just as a tiny little handle bag you would stop the chain at the point at which you want to do that Oops, of course you can't do it when you want to. There we go. Tuck the remainder of the chain inside. And then you have a tiny little carry bag. And also it has a back pocket, I forgot to mention. Um, and then you also have the option, if we open that back up, and it opens pretty easily. You can take um, an off-market chain. This one does not match, but it's an off-market chain. You can attach it to the Chanel. Run it through the bag. Looks much more complicated than it is. Drop the excess inside. Okay, hook it up. I mean, I, you would obviously have to decide before you go out what kind of wear, what kind of shoulder wear or crossbody wear you want so you're not messing with the chain. That could take forever. And then you can make it a crossbody. So this one has much more functionality um, chain-wise than the clutch with chain. Okay? So let me stop it here for a second, and I'll just do um, like some random items of what fits inside. Okay, so I just pulled out some very random items um, just for sizing purposes to see between the two. Obviously, this one's larger, but um, this one holds quite a lot, even though it's got a different shape to it. But just so you get an idea of size, um, you know, up against different things, I have, here's a Louis Vuitton um, pochette, and it's a vintage one. And you can see up against this one, that's how much of a size difference there is. The pochette is actually much more um, wide and can be expanded, but there's a size reference for you. And I'm not very neat about this, but, and there we go, right there. Um, I do not have an Eva clutch, but the East West bag, um, the black Chanel East West is very similar in size to the Eva clutch, believe it or not. So although it looks maybe substantially larger, um, it's actually the same, almost the same dimensions as the Eva clutch. So if you have one of those, you'll know um, what the East-West kind of looks like. So there it is. Let's take a paperback book. Here's just a mystery book that I've been reading. And you can see that a paperback book actually goes in there and easily closes. And there's no stress on the sides or there's no problem at all putting a paperback in there and it'll easily go in the clutch with chain as well. So if you're the type of person that wants to, for some reason, carry a paperback with you, there you go. And then let's see if we can stand it up. You can, but it will not close. So paperback will go in one direction only. This is an iPad mini. iPad mini will drop completely in there. So if you have a Kindle, um, a Samsung tablet, a Galaxy Tab, or something like that, those will go in there. It obviously will not go in this at all. Let's see here. Um, here's the pochette again. It will obviously not go in that one, but it will fit in that bag. 
with room. Um, I've got the strap attached right now, but if you took off the strap or played with it and made it a wristlet, you've still got lots of excess space on either side. So it easily fits a pochette and then much, much more like a wallet and that sort of thing. This is a um, cosmetics case. Cosmetics case standing up. The bag will not close. Cosmetics case in that direction, it will. And that's um, a Chanel basic cosmetics bow case. And you've still got lots of room on the side and lots of room in the front and the back. A cosmetics case in the east west. That's what it looks like. And it will close as well. So you can fit a full sized um, O case Chanel cosmetics case inside of that bag. So a mini pochette. Um, I do have one, but it's on loan to someone right now, so I don't have, have one. Um, it will also fit in here. A mini pochette will go in um, and leave you lots of room. So there's lots of room back here, lots of room in the front, and lots of room on the side. And of course, uh, wallets and that sort of thing. This is an O case wallet from Chanel. It will go in, and that's about how much size um, a wallet takes up. And I think I've mentioned in almost all of my videos, if you don't make use of these back pockets, you're going to have much more interior space. Putting things in the back pockets then immediately takes away this space right here. So if you actually want to maximize the amount of room in your small bag, don't use the back pockets, just use the interior space. Um, you get much more compartment space if you stay away from using back pockets in any bag. So those are just some basic items. Um, you know, I could keep trying different things, but you pretty much can get the idea that um, this one is obviously going to fit a lot more. Let's try, and this one is about the size of a mini. So let's put the cosmetics case in there. How about a wallet with it? Um, here's a little Louis Vuitton, another wallet. Let's we're just kind of stuff a whole bunch of stuff in there. Um, and my phone. Let's put my phone in the back somewhere. And then you also have the back pocket. That might be overstuffing it, but no. So you can see this one has a really, really great capacity and it's not even stretched. In fact, it looks better that it's a little bit bulky and it's got some like weight to it. And look at all the stuff that fit in there. You've got a cosmetics case, a phone, and two full-size wallets. Um, if we took out cosmetic case, and put in, how about the pochette instead? And still put the phone in there. So you've got a pochette, mini, po uh, no, regular size pochette, a phone, and two wallets. And you can still easily close that bag. So between the two, if you're looking for capacity, it's definitely this one. Um, if you're looking for chain options, it's definitely going to be the east-west, but both are just, you know, obviously my opinion and for my lifestyle, much better than the double flap, than just as elegant. They're the same fabrics, the same look. They've both got classic features, the chain, the double uh, CCs with the turn lock and the back pocket. So you've got the same elements that appear in a classic bag, but um, with a few more options, the classic flap is what it is. It's, it doesn't give you other options. This one gives you a lot of chain options, as does this one, um, and it gives you just as much room as the, the medium large. So I, I don't have a favorite between the two, to be honest. Um, I, I love them both equally. There's really, they're identical to me in terms of being a favorite. I, I can't pick one over the other. Um, obviously, if you want to carry more and use it as a daily bag, then this is the one to pick. If you just want an evening bag or something comparable to a mini, then this would be the one to go for. But both great bags. I hope it's helpful to some of you out there who are considering them because I know there's not a lot of videos on these two items. And it, um, I had a hard time finding them when I was looking for them. So hopefully it helps somebody. If you have any questions or you want me to specifically try an item inside either of the bags or you need to see something else about either of these bags, just let me know. And thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.